everybody. Welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Today I'm getting started on making all the cold process soaps for my July soap release. And I think you're gonna be really excited for the lineup because they're very summery, citrusy, juicy, and perfect for July. So the first soap in that lineup is, um, we're gonna be using a fragrance oil called Lemon Sugar by Nature's Garden. It smells a lot like a lemon head candy. Um, it's very sweet and tart and juicy perfect for July, perfect for summer, um, and it's got a little bit of an herbaceous note to it as well. It smells really good. I recommend this fragrance. Um, we're gonna be using some lemon powder in the soap as well. This will add to the lemony fragrance of the soap, but also it adds um, a bit of a mild exfoliant and a little bit of color. And then we're gonna be also using some Tessa Silk fibers. Now, I purchased these from Brambleberry and they're just beautiful. Um, Tessa Silk adds a nice slip and a really silky, luxurious feel to your soap. Um, look how beautiful that is. So depending on how much soap you are making, um, that's how much, you know, it, it's all, there's always a usage rate to everything you add to your soap. So the Tessa Silk also has a usage rate and um, we're gonna be using that in the soap today, but I did not film this process. So what you do with the Tessa Silk is you add it to your hot lye water and you stir it around until it's all dissolved. So that process has already been done today already. So um, I will be sharing this recipe on my Patreon page. If you're interested in that, you can head on over there and check it all out. And that being said, let's get started. All right, for this soap, we are using mango butter, olive oil, castor oil, palm oil, coconut oil, and grapeseed oil. So we're gonna go ahead and blend up the oil and the lye water solution with the Tessa Silk fibers. Um, another note on that silk, the Tessa Silk from Brambleberry is um, cruelty free. So that's good. So we're just adding the lye water solution directly to the melted oils and butters. And we're just stick blending on low. All right. I'm just gonna go ahead and stop there. I only want the soap just emulsified because I have a specific design in mind and I don't want my soap to move too quickly. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and divide this batter in half. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it here. And then I'm just gonna take a look and make sure they're fairly even. Yep, they're fairly even. And then we're gonna go ahead and create the first layer. This is gonna be a layered soap. And I've also made some pretty cute embeds that I'll show you when we get to that part. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and add in some color on the bottom. I'm gonna be using some yellow Vibrance Mica by Nurture Soap. Then I'm also gonna be adding in, I'm just gonna make this kind of a pale yellow. It doesn't really need a lot. And I'm also gonna be adding in my um, lemon powder to the bottom, along with half of the fragrance oil. Then I'm just gonna mix this by hand for a minute. I kind of want this to stay a little bit on the looser side um, because I'm going to be pouring over the top of this layer, but I do want some of the top layer to go into this layer, so I don't want it to fully set up. So I'm just giving it a good stir. You can see the color and the lemon powder really makes that a, a nice kind of 
pale yellow, golden yellow. Then I'm going to go ahead and just um, stick blend that and make sure it's all mixed up and the chunks are all gone. Okay, we're going to leave it at a light trace so I can get that right at the bottom of the mold and then um, it won't be too set up for that second layer. Okay, I'm just going to pour the whole thing in. Okay. I'm going to set that off to the side. All right, and then I'm going to move this over so I can show you the next step in the process here. So I've got that top half. So what we're going to be doing with this top half is adding in some titanium dioxide. And my titanium dioxide is dispersed in water. And what I've done is I've created um, some confettis with some soap scraps that I had hanging around. I created these confettis and I just pulled out kind of the colors that I wanted to um, accent in the white part of the soap. So this is going to go in after we mix up the titanium dioxide. going to go ahead and add in the rest of the fragrance oil and give it a good just mix by hand for a minute. All right, we're just mixing this by hand. And then we're going to go ahead and give this a good stick blend. So then we're just going to go ahead and dump in these confettis. They're not going to be easy to see until I cut it. So we're just going to dump this all in and we're going to mix it by hand. It's not going to look real eventful right now, but once you see the cut soak, those confettis will really pop. And they're just a nice um, pastel accent. So again, I'm not trying to keep the layers separate, but I also don't want this soap to go all the way down to the bottom of the yellow. So I'm just going to give this a good mix. Make sure those confettis are all mixed in. And then I'm going to bring my soap back and I'm going to do kind of a drop swirl, but not from super high up. I do want it to break through, but I don't want it to go all the way down. So we're just going to go like this, kind of gently. I am going to be filling the whole top um, with this confetti soap. Wait to see what that looks like on the inside. So we're just going to leave it. We're not going to do anything. We're just going to let that soap kind of fall where it does. And then I made some super cute. Um, we're going to be dusting these with, I don't know, I can't decide at the moment if I'm going to be dusting these with like kind of a white glitter for like a lemon sugar effect or um, some sort of mica um, dust. So right now we're just gonna lay these. I made these um, melt and pour embeds using um, a couple of these 
um, they're orange slices, but I used them for lemons today, and they are from Vanulay. And I'll go ahead and I'll link. Um, I'll put the link in the description box of where I got them. They're just so cute, super realistic. I've used these before for like uh, cranberry orange soap. Very cute. So I'm just gonna line these up like that. And kind of to enhance the actual like flesh of the lemon, I think it's gonna be, um, it'll show up more once we put that glitter or mica on top. Okay, so we have a little space here and two more lemons, so I think I'm just gonna cut this lemon to fit. to be slices of lemon so um, what I'll probably do is then just cut I don't want to waste so I'll probably just use the rest of these little slices in um, other spaces here on the soap mm, I don't think I don't know if I'm gonna do that actually maybe I'll just kind of Set them up like so. Here we go. So I'm just setting up some of the orange piece, extra orange pieces here. All right. Next, we're just going to go ahead and either glitter dust or mica dust the top. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and spritz this down with 91% rubbing alcohol. And that'll also help my glitter to kind of stick down. So I'm using Twinkling Lights Glitter by Nurture Soap. And I'm just gonna use a little makeup brush. You guys have seen me do this before to get the glitter just kind of evenly dispersed. just kind of like candied lemons. So cute, fresh looking. It smells fantastic. And there you have it, everyone. There's the making of lemon sugar cold process soap. Please stay tuned for the cutting. Hi, everybody. We're back to go ahead and cut this lemon sugar soap. This is what it looks like out of the mold. I cannot wait to see what it looks like on the inside. So you can see that lemon powder gave it a nice golden hue. So let's see. And that is what the inside looks like. With the little confetti pieces. I'm very pleased with how this one turned out. I love how the um, kind of yellowish gold layer is not even. I like how the white just kind of went where it wanted to go. So 
this finished product is gonna be a little bit darker. It's gonna be more like this color when it's all cured. Very pretty. Mmm, they smell really good. I like how this one looks. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest off camera. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Catch you on the next video.